I am Canadian. And if anyone doubts me, if anyone dares doubt how Canadian I am, not only do I have maple syrup, Coca-Cola. I have maple syrup, Coca-Cola. Not only do I have maple syrup, Coca-Cola, but I also have Sweet Joe maple syrup, which is coffee infused maple syrup. So I don't want anyone out there doubting just how Canadian I am. Don't you dare doubt how Canadian I am. If you do, wow. I'm sorry, eh? Hey there guys, Clandor here. And as we've just gone over, I'm Canadian. And Markiplier just recently uploaded a video where he reviews Canadian candy. And as the expert utmost Canadian I thought it I thought I needed to do my due diligence and review his review of Canadian candy. So let's get into that. Also, before we press play, I also have just a spare bottle of maple syrup for emergencies, obviously. So don't dare. You don't you dare. Okay, let's get into the video though. Let's see what candy Markiplier has. All right. I think that sound thumpier. That that is the correct sound that crispers make. FYI, if you didn't know, you get a bag of crispers, just put it down on the table. Uh, nuclear explosion happens. Canada is a magical place. It really is full of whimsy and mystery. It's that. like Middle Earth, but up north. And if, what, it, oh. <laughs> Canada is a country. No. Uh, Impossible. Uh, my mouth is full of sin. Dirty, horrible American sins. And I'm going to cleanse that because I'm in Canada now. Which means that it's time to get rid of all the bacteria that have... I mean, I'm not offering my surfaces, Markiplier, but um, I, I believe that's what mouth to mouth is for, so... Um, feeling of the bacteria of... Just shaking. Canadia's candy. Ca Canadia's. It's actually Canadia. Um... I know it's 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 probably you know a, a part of, you know it's probably because of your accent and stuff, but it's Canadia. Just so you know. I don't know what that expression means. Little Canadian history for you. No, not history, but what we have in front of us. Me. Let's just let's just focus on this uh, man man meat right here, called Markiplier. Well, we Manhunk is what I meant what to I say, to but man meat. I actually asked my members what Canadian snacks were, and they couldn't tell me. They actually started listing out different snacks from different countries, like Sweden, Norway, Scotland, Urn Brew, they mentioned, and I, I feel like it's kind of an American thing where, well, it's a Canadian thing, but All it's right. kind of like an American thing where they assume that just because it's in their country means that they invented it, which is very American, <laughs> and Canada, you can't take that from us. We're the obstinate assholes. We're nah. We're we're taking that from here. you. I'm sorry. But I assume that these but are kind of we're taking it from you. Hey. People said this. This said made in Canada. This has a maple on it, which I know they love the uh, maple leaves. Anything with maple Bear syrup pods. is Canadian. You just we don't have bears in America. If these are not Canadian, or if they're not like in the essence of being Canadian, I'm already I seeing I one best. thing I'm that is America, not Canadian. There's so the, this and, is the real one of the real reasons why something that they tried to bring to America. I remember dude kind of was a thing about like 10 years ago or so. Really? They don't have those in America? They, oh they my god. Advertised it as like a lighter chocolate. Dude, I love me some arrow. There are bubbles inside of it. They're bubbles that create more surface area for you to get more of the taste sensation of the chocolate and it gives kind of a te texture to it. Yeah, it just feels cool. Let's be real here. That's why we get Arrow. It feels cool. Actual calories, but you still get the full flavor because surface area is a thing. Mm. I don't know. And also, I don't know if this is actually Canadian, but I've noticed that there's a trend in terms of textures. Uh, it it definitely like exists in Canada, but there's there's one thing here. When he gets to it, light and fluffy, as opposed to like 
more dense. All right, I'm just gonna just gonna pause this for a second. There's one thing. There's at least one thing on here that I know is not a Canadian thing, and this is like the real. I, it's bugging me that it's in here. When he gets to it, you'll you'll I'll I'll have words. So look forward to that. Saying words, I'm not actually saying anything of substance. Literally every. Welcome to my entire life, Mark. Just give you the illusion that I know what I'm talking about, but I'm really just filling out time. Chocolate. I don't expect this to be that different. Oh, it's crumbly because of the textures. You can see the tech. No, it's a bit, okay, now we can. It's, you know, it's Mark, it's blurry. Mark, just it, take, take a picture, Mark. That's <laughs> just chocolate. Yeah, it's, it's interesting chocolate. with the way the bubbles it gives it. It's it's good chocolate though. When you first bite into it, but once it starts melting, it's like all there. I don't know about the whole surface area thing, but texturally, once it gets melted, it's just chocolate, and it's mm. good. Yeah. Again, I don't know if it's Canadian, but I'll tell you what is Canadian. What I know for a fact is this. Oh, ketchup chips. We're getting so there was a lot of people that were talking a lot about this, and I like ketchup. I really do. I do not mind ketchup. I put ketchup mm. on a lot of things: fish sticks, taters, fish. Okay, I never realized how much I got along with Mark, but I put ketchup on like everything. This is not a joke. I'm trying to remember what the hell I put ketchup on. Yeah. Not pickles. I don't. Burgers. I have in the past. Burgers. Kid, Hello, burgers that have pickles on them. White bread, bologna, pickles, and ketchup. Got ya. That's basically a burger right I was there. Lying. All right. Pickles and ketchup. See? Hell yeah, brother. Hell what, yeah. what do you think a burger with ketchup is? Yeah, it ha you sometimes they have pickles. It smells very strongly of ketchup. Dude, I love Lay's ketchup are probably my favorite ketchup chips out of all of them. There are purple potatoes out there, but honestly, what? How's that purple? Like that's red. I like ketchup. That that's red, Markiplier. That is red. <laughs> I feel like it would be better if I just dipped a No. You even as a I'm I've never even tried that before. Just uh ketchup chips are good. It's not better. Thumbs up okay, to them. So in the element of replicating the flavor of ketchup on a potato chip, they've done a good job here. This does taste like ketchup. The thing is, I don't like to dip my potato chips in ketchup, which is weird considering French fries in ketchup, baked, pot but baked potatoes, no ketchup. I don't do baked potatoes in ketchup. I, I, I have to disagree. It doesn't ketchup. taste exactly like, like ketchup. Like it tastes that valley. It's weird because ketchup is. It does taste I of ketchup. Like straight up tomatoes. I love ketchup. I love. Well, also soup. it depends. I love roasted baby tomatoes. It, it okay. Let's get into a little bit of ketchup history here, shall we? A little bit of ketchup chip for you, for you guys. Um, there are so many different brands of ketchup chips here. You just there that's Lay's, probably my favorite out of them. I like the softness, but there are more like crunchier ones and blah blah blah. Um, but they there's a varied range of ketchup chips okay they're this strong or oh, a bit they're good but they're oh you can only have it and then their lays is definitely more on the softer side i would say um not too strong but also not too weak so it really depends on which this has been your ketchup history let's get to the funny guy but it's not that good i get it but i don't get it Right. Nah, it's good. It's I'm sorry, you're wrong on this one, Markiplier. Funny. Maybe also going from chocolate to ketchup. I feel like this is not a weird thing in Canada. It's a weird yeah. thing to me, but not in Canada. Yeah, we just put ketchup all over our chocolate, guys. Just constantly. Yeah. That's, that's what... Markiplier... You will pay for your sins for this. What's wrong with you guys? Why would you do that? Why would Canada make this their delicacy? Why do Canadians definitely, actually, factually dip their chocolate in ketchup? That's weird of you guys. That's very strange. 
That is not good. In the vein of like I said, you and will pay for your sins, Markiplier. But these are crispers. Crispers, no they but these slap. Are all dressed. I thought that's an ass season. These are some other kinds That's of how you get the all dressed. Wheat flour, potato flour, so not necessarily potato chip, probably more like Pringles in terms of actual chip. No, no, these are not close to Pringles. Stuff is like uh, vinegar, these garlic, are onions, probably ketchup. Yeah. Not even close to Crip Pringles, no. They're kind of like little, uh, little crackers. Yeah, they're just, they're crack, they're crispers. That's not bad. I like that. It doesn't mm. have a very strong flavor. I still like ketchup like better than all dressed, flavor, but right? the texture is good. I always love a good crunch. All, and all really dress fun. is more of a stronger this flavor than ketchup like chips. Toast. I could devastate a countryside of these chips, and no one would stop. Not, they're not chips. They're literally they're crispers. Blood the crispers, Mark. The fields, crispers. Like the hills, and all I hear is the screams of the damned and in pain and death. And I go through the field and I just stab over and over. No one would stand in my way. So it's pretty good. That's chip. that's what it's like in Canada, twenty four seven, when we're eating our all dressed chips. Oh, I should have got you to bread. Oh my God! You're welcome for that AdSense, Mark. I'm just going by willy nilly random here. I'm gonna go for the whippets. Okay. So the interesting thing about Canadian packaging is there's always, almost always, French, English, and French on both the sides, which I think is fascinating because obviously Canada. A large portion of the population speaks French. No, no, no. A large portion of Canada speaks French, okay? There's a difference. We're forced to learn French in school. We don't learn it. At least I didn't. But I'm also dumb, so. But the, the reason why they have English and French is that there's actually a law that... Uh, Everything has to have French and English on it, which is one of the stupidest laws, I think, because nobody actually reads the French. It, we just we just don't, okay? But yes, it's actually a law, and uh, it's not like it's not like companies did that because they wanted to, just to be nice. No. But I stupid law though. That's all I have to say about that. Just an anecdote. I'm here I, for the food, not for the language. I had more to say about it, to be honest. I like little macaroons. I never really ate Ooh. these, but the few times nice they've been available, I don't. I like that. It's really hitting me in the nose. With I've the never really liked really these up through myself. And I do appreciate they exist in Canada. I'm not really like a dark chocolate mm. kind of guy, but I also recognize that the darker the chocolate, the more close you get to actual chocolate. Mm. And when you get to the chocolate like this, like, yes, it's very sweet, but it's yeah. kind of very distant from what real chocolate is. No, that's is. real chocolate. So you don't get a lot of the benefits. Dark chocolate, chocolate is when you get chocolate that. that's trying too hard. Chocolate, you always get a richer flavor to it. Even if it's more bitter, it doesn't really matter. You get the closer to the, the god of chocolate. No, you get closer to the devil of chocolate. Wow. Am I? I might be thinking of something now, different. But it's sticky, right? Because and so I wouldn't expect that kind of like moisture. I thought there was like a cream in the middle of these. Am I? I might have been thinking of something and different. When you bite into it, it's not a lot of like flavor there, but the flavor really develops after a while. It's strange. That is very good. It's kind of like a s'more, right? So the flavor really comes because you got your top layer with like the marshmallow and then the bottom layer with a cracker and then everything's covered in chocolate. So you have to let the chocolate melt. Yeah, I'm legitimately confused. I thought these had like because at first a all you're getting is cream in the middle of them that I didn't really like. Yeah. As soon as the chocolate starts to melt, it really just flows. Have I been living a whole a lie my entire life? In your mouth. That is delicious. I might have been. Mm. I, I might need to try have, these again. Good on you guys. Mm, 10 out of 10. I don't know if these... Yeah, I know they exist in Canada. We might have stolen oh them from God, somewhere else. Amazing. Just right, like Tim Arrow. Tams. I'm pretty sure we stole Tim, them. But Tim Tam sure sounds Canadian. Ah! Ah! This is... Tim Tams are not Canadian. This is what... Ah! This is what's been bugging me. This is, this is not Canadian. Tim Tams are not Canadian. This is an Australian thing. Okay? I've never heard of Tim Tams in Canada my entire life. And then I heard... 
then I heard some YouTubers talking about Tim Tams, and it's an Australian things. I want to try them, but these are not Canadian, okay? This is... This is not Canadian. This is Canadian. Oh, also, I got... Sorry, I'm not Canadian enough here. I'll, uh... There we go. Put on a little toque. Just, uh, just to make sure everyone knows just how... Canadian I am, you know, don't want nobody out there thinking I'm not Canadian. All right Okay, now I now I think I proved just how Canadian I am. I got a little toque on all right Let's get back Canadian Tim Tim Tim, Tim, Tim Austria get out of here. Yeah, you're Timmy Horton, which I'm gonna do a video about I'm gonna order everything on the Timmy Horton menu. You are not prepared for what I am about to bring to you, Tim Horton. So expect that. Alright, it's not Timmy like Horton. Canadian, A, no. whatever, Tim Tam. No. Sounds like it, I don't know. I noticed like a lot of these... I don't even think these exist in Canada. Anywhere. I've never seen them. My entire life. The, God damn it. The Aussies... Yeah, I, I don't know if they're good or not, but it's the Aussies like can take Oreo credit for this one. It's covered in chocolate and chocolate cream inside. It's very chocolatey. It's very one note, but God, the note is good, right? More in the same crunch vein. This is kind of combining All right. the arrow, the arrow thing, arrow, air, arrow chocolate, the air, air bubbles, um, but in hmm. a crunch bar. I haven't seen this elsewhere, so if it's not Canadian, it's not American. It, we, they, I like crunch bars. They're good. They're They're hard. But they're t they they taste good. They're tough but hard. They're a lot tougher than I thought. It'd be. See, I told you. Very, very tough. <clears throat> good taste, tough but worth it. Dry if you... too. A lot drier. Everything else so far has been very moist. It looks like uh, wall insulation on the inside, but um, it's actually good. I mm. do like it. It's kind of like it's not honeycomb, but it, it reminds me of something that's like what. The same color as honeycomb. I don't know. What did I tell you? It's good. It's good, right? It's good. I it's like good. It. It's kind of like a butter butterfinger if the butterfinger but is tough. Like staler and more solid in the middle and more concrete. But the flavor is very good. You just have to have strong teeth. That's all. Uh, that is exactly what it sounds like when you bite into it. Not my ideal choice, but the flavor very good. Mm. All right, bear claws. I haven't seen these in America, and if I so, do, I'm stupid. So this, this is past my time. Um, I see kids Whoa, eating bear big. times. Oh, shit. Uh, all very popular with like my nephews like and stuff. Bites, like, like okay, he, his you know sink is haunted. Right, That's so fine, like, but big ass bear claws. Oh, they're soft too. They're so soft. But yeah, these are good. more of a cute. kid candy oh, thing. Cute. I've tried them. I don't. Oh, I would not bad. buy them. Cute. But mm. very bad. Oh, yeah, no. these are for kids. Flavor, these are for kids, Mark. Ah! Get out of here. For kids Bitch. to be healthy, healthier than you know, just chocolate. Big ass maple leaf on it, so I'm probably right. Yeah, I mean, I'm usually no. right about these things. These okay. Are, uh, maple cream. Premium. I mm -hmm. love cookies. these cookies. Not my favorite cookies, but they're good. I like them. If you like maple syrup, I th you'll probably like these. I, I can eat a whole they're box of this. Cheap, but I don't think they're meant to be. I think yep. the filling has got to be like maple syrup based. Because I can easily eat a, a whole box and hate my entire work. rest of the day. But that sitting okay, down so with that I'm box. I'm looking at it like a cookie, like an Oreo or anything. This is just like kind of like a, like a tea kind of cookie. No, it's... Or something like no, that. it's just... No, just... No. Just no, you just... only eat two or three of these ever. You never eat a lot. Smarties are very different. Smarties are in oh. little rolls. And they're actually so I like American Smarties more than Canadian Smarties. I think this is one of the worst things we've done to the Smarties franchise of the world. Like a That's... dextrose powder candy. They're old school. They, they've been around forever. I imagine these also have been around forever, but these seem more like M&M. Yeah, okay. Speaking about the M&Ms, um, these are just worse M&Ms. Like, just give me M&Ms. I want, I want, they're just worst M&Ms. I don't want these. Like, if there's nothing available, I'll eat them. But the entire time, I'm like, I I want an M&M. I just want M&Ms are just better. <laughs> just give me the M&Ms. M&Ms, M&M type things than uh, other candies. Yeah. 
Is he realizing they're just worse M and M's? Is there just worse M and M's? Why did I get like a hit of cinnamon? Why wow, was it spicy? It was. Spicy. There is no spice. I don't like that. What? I don't like that. I first of all, I don't like those either. But there is not a single hint of spice in these. So there's not. <laughs> It must be some sort of weird combination of everything he's eaten today, but that there is no spice. Basic bitch, caramel. It's caramel chocolate. Oh, what? Love these. Good. Just well. chocolate and caramel, you know. No, you can't eat it like that. You gotta... Caramel and chocolate. Good. Nah, you gotta, no, you gotta, like, you gotta, like, break it off and... Ah, oh, that hurt. Ah. Uh, Bridge mix. Uh, the original. I don't know what it's other like, version there is besides the original, but this is the original bridge. That was like watching somebody eat pizza crust first. You don't, uh. I don't know what's inside this. It's like a chocolate little egg. I've never had these, I don't think. Um, I think they're just gonna be a bunch of like trail mix covered in chocolate, I think is what there are. What are you? Yeah. Sorry, Mark. I can't answer for you because I don't know what these are. I've never had them. Never seen them before. What are you? Oh, it's bleedy. That's what it was. It's a chocolate-covered gummy. Those are peculiar. Not bad, though. I did like them. I just was not ready for a chocolate-covered gummy. I've had chocolate-covered gummies. I like chocolate-covered gummies. Okay, so. so now we've got these similar packaging called O. Henry's. He's going with like the... A, like a little, like, peanut cluster. Okay, first of all, O. Henry is a chocolate bar, like, you know, regular size chocolate bar. Uh, he got the Bites version, or the ball... I don't know. You know, the Bites version, whatever. The small ball version of it. Don't know if that's really going to change the taste, but normally it's an actual chocolate bar, so... O. Henry, I, they're, they're also good. If you like peanut butter, caramel, you know, stuff like that, chocolate, it'll probably be like. Those are very good. Crunchy peanuts, yeah. chewy fudge, creamy caramel, covered in chocolate coating. I mean, you yeah. can't go wrong with that. That's very good. It's a good snack. As a Canadian, I will take. That will keep you going. Oh, by the way, for. The I'll take all the praise for this. I You're welcome. This down because it's popcorn and it's not Canadian. It's pop I bought this for myself for groceries and it was. Anyway, yeah, we. I mean, OMG, we have popcorn here. I've. OMG, I, peanut butter clusters. Okay, so this speaking is of, I've literally made maple, co maple covered popcorn. So, yeah. Um, I'm Canadian. <laughs> Legitimately, though, I have. That would be Canadian popcorn, I would say. But, um, OMG. Oh, similar to O Henry. But this is These are OMG. relatively yeah, newer, especially like compared to O Henry. Um, I've never had these. I've wanted to try them. I feel like these are something I would like, but I've never had them. I do see them around, though. Peanut butter, pretzels, chocolate. I, d I love chocolate-covered uh, chocolate covered pretzels, so... I feel like I would like these. Goodies. Goodies. Okay, in similar to Smarties, these are goodies, in that these are nothing like Smarties. Yeah, I have no clue about these either, so... These are probably just jelly beans. These are jelly beans. Yep, there. Or candy coated pieces of licorice. I think I've had these sound similar to something I've had, but... I'd rather just have jelly beans than this. like the black licorice on the inside, maybe. Zoom! Yeah, that's probably why I don't remember these very much because black licorice is just something I avoid at all costs because. Give it a thought. That's all. Think about it. You don't have to do it. Because black licorice is a, uh, an affront to, uh, uh, upon God and everything that is good in the world. See, they look. These look so familiar to stuff I've seen. With Canadian snacks. This was a good one. I found some snacks that I liked. I found some snacks that maybe you know, aren't for me but still might be for some Canadians. And uh, at the end of the day, the ketchup only thing chips. I really didn't like was the ketchup chips. Ha, got ya. You have to like now because I tricked you again. You thought it was the end? Bitch, you always wrong. Ketchup seasoning. What the hell is this shit? 
You want to know why I got this popcorn? It was also a lie. Trick you, bitch. You got to oh. subscribe now. Look at this. Uh, I'm already, I'm already sub Mark. That's how I knew about this video. You thought but... that this was just for me grocery shopping? I'm a better actor than you ever thought. Bitch, I tricked you so much. Like the video, I, you have to. I'm, I'm exploiting you to do it. You I've like been bamboozled. All right, long. you know what, Mark? You know what, Mark? Just for you. Yeah. I got... Canadians got you back. Okay, while this ominous music plays, I'm just gonna say that uh, I have not seen ketchup seasoning or whatever. I mean, I'm sure it... I'm sure I've okay, seen hey, it. I just never really used it. Here, I just like I like my popcorn, but mostly plain for the most part. So. Thank you for solving the puzzle. Um, your prize package will be delivered to you via drone. And so, just yeah, really, uh, I didn't expect you to. So I've never really gone gone seasoning for my popcorn and, uh, before. For hitting the like button as well because you're smart enough to do that. And subscribing, only the smart people can do that. Already sub, Mark. So we got popcorn. I don't imagine this is going to be very different from your standard popcorn. What is going to be different is ketchup seasoning. I don't know why God allowed this to happen, but it happens. Because You're... why is this any different than just putting ketchup on your popcorn, which you could do at any moment? You're the one you who put ketchup on chocolate, hey, Mark. Until you try it. So I'm going to try it, and then I'm going to knock the hell out of it. I'm gonna knock this bitch in the next century. I have a feeling he's going to surprisingly like this, though. <laughs> it smells like ketchup. Okay, so oh, that's good. That's gonna be a lot. <laughs> I feel like. It's not. It's not like. Oh, it's so terrible. I hate life. But what's wrong with this salt? I don't get anyone that has to dress up their popcorn. Look, I like caramel popcorn, that's oh. fine. But at the end of the day, I just like basic bitch popcorn with a lot of salt. I will take that's caramel though. Like caramel popcorn. popcorn is delicious. That didn't taste that much like ketchup either. Let's see what actual ketchup on popcorn tastes like. Like I said, Mark, You'll pay for your sins someday. It tastes just like ketchup. The the popcorn actually just goes away. So hence why probably they do the seasoning of it. Because otherwise you're just going to have popcorn. It's like if I put hot sauce on popcorn. Oh, no. We're so outside of Canadian food at this point. Oh, shit. What the fuck? That's yeah. actually delicious. Then again, I, I like I like Frank's Red Hot a lot. Sponsor me, by the way, or else I will come after you. I've made a new discovery. That is really very good. You have homework. Try this. No. Hot sauce, popcorn. No. So we've got Tim Hortons next, and then I will be doing an extensive review on all the maple syrups I can find. Thank you so much for watching. Well, yeah, I well. literally have coffee maple syrup for you, but that's mine. I'm sorry, Bye -bye. you can't have it. Bye, Mark. That was Markiplier Reviews Canadian Candy. Gotta say, I feel like there was a lot of missed actual Canadian candies in that. Not that I can think of any, but I feel like there are. Um, and Tim Tams aren't Canadian, so not ca not Canadian. Tim Tams, not Canadian. That's <laughs> the one thing that really... Also, ketchup chips are good. Anyways, this has been a Canadian reacts to Markiplier candy, re Canadian candy, re ca candy, uh, I, 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 I landed it and it was a terrible crash, but we got there. This has been Canadian reacts to Markiplier's Canadian candy review. Let me know down below in the comments if there's any other. Canadian videos I should react to or if uh, what your favorite Canadian candy is. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone and as always stay classy. Um, I I didn't even know I had this but I have Klondike Donuts with a maple syrup crunch with a maple Crunch.
I am so Canadian. <laughs>